just going to talk about this for a second. Um, I mean, look at look at the verses he's given us. Uh, like over the last few months, I've seen where they're going to uh, cover the mouth, cover the mouth to suppress speech, um, saying we have to make an affirmative decision, and uh, and revealing the truth. It, it, it's it's the wisdom that's being revealed of the truth that's coming out. Um, and and look what's and woe to them that try to uh, hide it and think and act fool, foolishly and deceptive and he's doing it ending he's ending that he's going to end that system it's it's coming to an end and uh we all know the tribulation period is definitely going to put an end to it and when christ comes back here he's the only one this isn't man going to make this better man is not going to bring in the kingdom of god that's not going to happen only god himself can do that by awaking his children that are trapped here in this physical world that we were uh, forbid to come into an idol of ain't show this body but uh, I mean just look at the political scene uh, you know the 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 cure right uh, being rolled out right now and we'll be forced we'll be forced they're gonna try to uh, force everything down our throats uh, you won't have your job you won't be able to do anything go out in public and i seen uh farag talking about it because he's I, you know he's a great great pastor for sure um you know now you have to have a mask right you have to have it but pretty soon when the vaccine's out now if you go out in public with a mask you're going to be looked at as a dissenter a disease spreader a rebel right so it's going to flip again it'll flip again and who's the author of confusion right satan so it'll flip again if you're wearing a mask so therefore they're gonna have to permanently identify you I mean if you're walking around in public without a mask they're gonna want to know you're gonna have to have something that shows that you've had a, a the cure right whatever that is you're gonna have to have something and uh, papers could be forged or faked or or whatever you know what I mean so they're gonna have to come up with a permanent system permanently marking you but what's in this cure is not healthy it's not good whatsoever but anyways um, I just find it very, very revealing, as in Revelations, re revealing that he's showing us every every step in his word is in lockstep with what we're seeing happening in this world, politically, the entire world, everything. Um, it's, it's, it's just so crazy. It's just so crazy. And you can see it more and more. And, uh, and the, so many television shows and movies and songs and even sitcoms even series on tv are revealing the truth you know i mean they're throwing it out there i mean it's what's actually happening they're throwing it out there they're they're, they're making you subject look this flesh has made us comfortable and uh, complacent and uh you know to this entire world that's why he says it's harder for a wealthy man to get into the kingdom of heaven than it is to put a camel through the eye of the needle. And we know what that is. It's a place where they had to drag, push, pull a camel because it was so low to get their goods into the marketplace. So it's not impossible, but it's very difficult. The more comfortable you are in this world, but and here's the thing. Here's the thing. I guarantee it. Your comforts are being taken away. And this is all done to glory, glorify God. You know, it really is. It might not seem like it. But you have to turn back to him. You have to have, be strong. And he says if you have fear and you you uh, consent to this stuff be, out of fear, uh, you're lost, man. You're lost. You got to take a stand. Make it an affirmative answer. Give an affirmative answer. Take a stand for Christ like the early Christians did. And uh, I do believe that definitely during the tribulation period, it may cost you your life. Uh, it will it ain't gonna may it will it'll cost you your life your physical being your physical being do not fear him who can destroy the flesh but him that destroys the soul right and um, understand that and that's eternal separation from God uh, we are on the edge right now on the pre precipice this is this is about to occur and it's gonna occur quickly very quickly uh, you know I just think what I'm being told what what I'm 
what I'm being shown is that this is going to occur before their wickedness and evil deeds are exposed. Because, uh, look, uh, and I'm not saying Trump, see, I mean, he was used by God or Satan either way, you know, and I think he's trying to do what's right. I think he's trying, but he could be a Trojan horse, you know, bring in, help bring in all this in because, I mean, really, he seems to be all for that vaccine, you know. And if he was a Christian, if he was a true born-again, spirit-filled believer, wise in spiritual things, you know, I don't think he would be forcing it or using the military to roll it out. And I think uh, once their wickedness is exposed, which I don't think they're going to allow that, uh, you know, he should be just done with it. But, but look, these wicked, evil people have promised something even stronger coming down the line. If you're not taking this serious, the next one you will. You know, it's just things to think about, man. Uh, I'm still going to work, thank God. But I know there's going to come a point if we're not caught up out of here where I'm going to have to, I won't be able to come to work anymore if they're forcing us to take the cure, right? It's not going to happen. Take a firm stance. Don't fear anything. Don't fear anything. Your father's in control. And uh, you have to let go of the things of this world, man. You have to let go. We're in the world, but not of the world. And and I know a lot of us out there are losing our family and friends are departing us because of our stance and our beliefs. And um, they just don't quite get it. They don't get it. Um, you know, still love and respect everybody. But um, the sheep and goats are definitely being separated. And I don't mean that you know, everybody's got their own walk, and and and, uh, and I'm not saying they're not saved or going to be saved or whatever, but they might have to be shaken a little more and go through that tribulation period, which I would not wish on my worst enemy. That's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, the wickedness that's going to occur, demonic things uh, coming into, uh, showing themselves, revealing themselves even more so. I don't think that men can fully comprehend the Bible uh, I know they can't, and and I don't even, you know, understand every every little thing. But as I study, continue to study, and it's being revealed to me, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. A much clearer, better picture of what exactly is going on. And it's so funny. You can see it being played right out in front of us. Right out in front of us. Dominion. I mean, just the names of things, too. I mean, come on, look these things up, understand everything, even the wording, the verbiage that's being used. Uh, man, understand, understand. And the image of the beast, yeah, it's your flesh. Your flesh is the image of the beast. Churches have got it wrong in so many. Even great pastors refuse to see that one. That word image, vain show, phantom, especially an idol. A beast of burden, the sheep that have went astray and condemned, separated from God, tilling the ground by the sweat of their brow, right? Beast of burden, burden, man, man, tilling the ground by the sweat of their brow, um, condemned by guilt and sin in this rotten, dying, decaying world. Our flesh, part of that fallen, rotten, dying, temporary tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But when you're grafted back into the tree of life by the rebirth of your spirit through Christ, who is God incarnate, well, now you become a new fruit from that tree. And and we just haven't got our glorified bodies yet. There's going to be a renewing of everything. And only Christ can do that. Man is not going to bring this in. And yes, we're supposed to be his representatives here and spread the truth. But we're, we're not the ones bringing in. But you may have to take a stand for what's right. Which might mean laying down your life at some point. It just very well might. Don't be afraid. You're getting released. If that occurs, you're getting released from this temporary dying world and you get to go home. It's a beautiful thing. Don't fear anything. Always trust in Christ. Always call on his name no matter what. And don't take anything that they're going to try to force you to take no matter what. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. All right. God bless. Have a great day. It's so obvious now. It's just so obvious. I wish everybody would wake up. All right. Bye.